How's it going guys? This is Fiery Fox Gunner here and welcome back to the Crazy Cooking Vlog. Today, um, my children actually found a really interesting uh, recipe online and it's not, a it's not a dinner recipe, but it is going to be pretty awesome because it basically involves a ton of sugar. So, <laughs> what we're going to be making today is uh, <laughs> unicorn bars. So it's going to be really interesting and uh, yeah, it'll be a great little treat for uh, after dinner or for a special occasion if you guys want to. So without further ado, let's get cooking. So in uh, normal crazy cooking vlog fashion, we are going to put our own little spin on things and uh, we're going to, because we are actually using an actual recipe this week, uh, it's unicorn bars um, by... Who does that say? Cookies and Cups. Author is Cookies and Cups. It makes approximately 36 bars. And yeah, since my camera doesn't want to freaking focus. Focus! <laughs> Anyways, there we go. It's sort of focusing. Um, because there are certain things in here like the uh, cooking spray. spray. It says foil and coat with cooking spray or non-stick cooking spray. I don't believe in cooking spray. So, because, um, yeah, cooking sprays are bad for you. So, I'm just going to, uh, we're gonna use instead well, what we're gonna glass use. Pan instead of natural. Yeah, we're, we're using a glass pan instead of a cookie sheet. But, what? We're using the glass pan because of the fact that it's supposed to be thick. And we wanna make sure that it's not gonna go over top of the actual size of our cookie sheets because we don't have any actual cookie, like actual cake. Pans, which is what you probably would normally use, as a metal cake pan. A cake we don't pan. Have well, any, we so we have bread pans. Glass. We have bread pans, but no cookie or cake pans. Actually, we do. We do have one, but it's not big enough. It's not big enough. Um, nine by nine. So nine we're by using a glass casserole dish, which is just as good, and we're using parchment paper or wax paper instead of the spray and the uh, aluminum foil. So, what you're going to need is some eggs. Some eggs. Ah, there we go. Eggs. Beautiful eggs. You're gonna need about three of those. Uh, two pat or uh, two sticks of butter. See, we got one over there. We got two over here. Uh, you need your vanilla extract. A whole ton of sparkles or uh, or um, what are the sprinkles? Sprinkles. Sugar sprinkles. Some salt. Some salt. There we go. Salt. Wait, that's sea the way salt. it goes. Or salt. Sea salt. <laughs> um, you don't need sea salt. It actually asked for. Uh, it, it said to use kosher salt. I've never seen the. Diff I've never found a difference between kosher salt and regular salt. So I just use regular salt. Uh, flour. Your big, uh, big old mixing bowl. A whisk. We've got extra, extra um, sprinkles for garnish to put on the top of after we're done everything and we have food coloring for color and you're also going to need extra sugar like i said there's a ton of sugar in this so oh that's right and icing sugar icing sugar and this is just a plastic bag we will be using that in a little bit but we're uh, i'll show you what we're going to do with that later so what we're doing here is mommy's gonna sort out this because that was our first our first plan of attack is to what? Preheat. 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 Yeah. Dripping, no yes, nobody can hear you because mommy's doing that. See? We'll fix that when the time to actually the stuff. Yeah, because we haven't even actually started anything and it's already telling us to preheat the oven. Whoa, okay, hang on. I'm gonna put you down for a second. Wait, that's a really bad, stupid spot. Here, you take that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we haven't actually started anything. It's already telling us to preheat the oven and and, uh, and coat the pan with non-stick stuff. I am not going to do that because, if you can tell, I'm already sweating like crazy. <laughs> so, I'm not trying to keep. I'm trying to keep this house as cool as possible. I don't have air conditioning. Not yet, at least. I, I put it. I, I have an air conditioning system. I just haven't put it in yet. We've had it in the box for two years. Yeah. So, what's the next step? Well, it says oh. melted butter. 
Okay. So I'm guessing that we need a bowl. And as in, in uh, normal cooking fashion, we are not prepared, even though we thought we were. Damn it. All right. After the 20th this. video, we'll eventually have everything all set up. Yeah. We still need an actual camera as well. We're still using a phone. Just drop it in. Just, just drop it. There you go. Now pull the bloody thing off. There you go. Done. All right. Throw that in the microwave for a minute and a half. Should be fine. Put it, actually, put it in for a minute. I was gonna say, just put it in for a minute because it's already yeah. room temperature. Put it in for a minute. Alright, and that's gonna that's gonna melt. And sugar! are you okay now we're doing sugar. Sugar in the bowl as well. Sugar. sugar. Butter and sugar add in the vanilla. But eggs. butter and sugar first. Wait, no no no. Sugar first. It says add in the eggs. In a large bowl. Whisk together Whisk butter together and sugar. sugar butter add and sugar. in the, why and then what? add the Stuff. Why wouldn't we just add in the eggs? If we're doing all this all in one step, why not add in the eggs first and then mix everything together? That makes no sense. Okay, this is what we're going to do, because so that we don't accidentally end up with shells in the in this thing. We're going to do the eggs first, because that makes more sense. Dog here in the Anyways, so you crack your eggs, make sure that there's nothing in there. I love this bowl for cracking eggs. It's great. I'm gonna put that right there. <laughs> almost, almost. Make sure oh, there's... you got a you got a shell. I tried. All right, watch one more time. You see this? See yeah. this? Yeah. I'm not gonna do any magic with it. Screw that. I've been watching a lot of Penn and Teller lately, so it made me feel like there you go. So you got, you got to make sure that you actually crack it really well, and then you just twist apart. Take your fingers, you just twist apart. I've actually gotten so good with that lately that I can't do it with two hands anymore. It's a little upsetting. But now I gotta wash my hands. Got the okay. Check see if it's melted. Oh, it's not melted. Actually, I'm just gonna rinse them off. Uh, let's see. Show Daddy. What? Is it melted or no? Not all melted. Um, try try using a, a teaspoon. Down. Okay, this around. Okay, just mix it around. See, I told you. A minute and a half. I'm usually pretty good with the numbers. Well, we always ask you about the microwave, and then, right. but we don't give you enough information. So I'm gonna mix this up real quick so it's all nice and liquidy. Scrambled eggs, anyone? Sorry about that, guys. We had a we had a. A uh, impromptu phone call. Yes, I don't know. I, I don't even know what to call it. People are bothering us while we're recording. Damn it! Sure. Anyhow, so we got the butter melted. We actually had to put it on for an extra thirty seconds. So I was right. A minute and a half for a whole stick of butter is perfect. Um, so now we've got a nice little mixture of butter and eggs, and it looks all exactly the same. So, we're just going to mix that up real quick, just so it kind of mixes together. They're both liquid, so it kind of it mixes real fast. Done! Alright, now what else do we need? Uh, we sugar. need the sugar. One and a half cups of sugar. One and a half cups. Okay, so we need... That's a half cup. That's a half a cup, so we need two more of those. Yeah. We need two more of those. Why are we using the little one and not the big one? We should use that, because that... What are you filming? The bowl? Yes. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so use this one instead. All right. So. Yes. Problem. All right. That's one. No, that was two. That's two. Right. That's well. We needed two more, so we needed one. This is the second one, so then we're done. Right. All right. Throw that in. And who wants to mix it? Me. Everybody. Everybody. So let's double check. Let's make sure. It's gonna feel a little bit goopy and everything like that, anyways. So, that's what we've got so far. It looks a little bit more like eggs now. Only, it's got this weird texture looks to like, it. Actually, it looks it looks like slime. The old like school milk. slime. From, uh... From Ghostbusters, except it's not green or pink. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they... Oh, that's right, the slime... The, the uh... From Vigor! What? 
from from Ghostbusters too. The one that uh, the, the uh, pink slime that goes all the way across the, the museum. Whole, yeah, that's mo look at that. Mood the mood slime. Yeah. mood slime. Yeah, the mood goo. Yeah, but this isn't pink, so it's not mood goo. So okay, we're good. We're Don't safe. play with your food. Anyways, we're done with this. We can put that away. Salt. What else do we need? Salt. salt. I'll put in the salt. We only need one teaspoon of salt. <laughs> so. Yeah, but that's a half teaspoon. That's a half teaspoon. Oh, that's a lot. Hang on. Put that in here. Dump that in my hand. Uh, that's a little much. A little bit much. All right. So that's that's too much, but because I'm using a, a sea salt, sea salt yeah, grinder. I'm using a grinder, so I didn't quite exactly know how much. So we're gonna put in about three quarters of that. Still leave a bunch on my hand, and that's going in the sink. Because I don't want sea salt is very 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 strong. Sea salt is like super strong, so you don't want to you don't want to put too much of it in there. Um, or else it's going to taste salty in there. Basically all that salt is for is to kind of bring out the flavors of everything else. Um, it's kind of an enhancer. It doesn't really do a whole hell of a lot of anything else but that. So if you put too much in, then you end up with too much of salt flavor, and then it doesn't taste right. So, it doesn't taste like a bar. you gotta be careful. Now, next. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we need van vanilla. Vanilla. Vanilla whisk until smooth. Huh? It's already whisked until smooth. Huh? A teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Okay, I guess we didn't need that. Half a teaspoon of vanilla? That's all? That's, that's it? it? Alright, that's about a half a teaspoon. Right there. Done! I thought it was two half teaspoons. Oh. I don't know. No, it's One half teaspoon, two cups all Two cups. teaspoons. Two teaspoons! So, adding in a little bit more. Like that. How much is that? Alright, so this is what we've got now. We put in the vanilla and it actually it's turned everything more or less brown. So. And it's not as goopy anymore, which is upsetting. I was liking the goop. That's really fun though, watching that thing get squished all over. Woo! Yeah, okay. Anyways, enough messing around. Stir with the spatula. We, it says stir with the spatula? Yeah. It says, spatula? using a rubber spatula, stir in the flour until just combined. Flour! Now, how much flour do you need? Stir! We need two cups of all-purpose flour. Two cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, so what are we doing? Putting in the four flowers. Okay, four Two flour. Cups or four half cups. Nine. Yeah. We measure everything in half cups, so it's a lot easier because the half cup can actually reach into the container, just like that. See? Woo! Woo! And that's the point. Two. And that is four. Four half cups or one oh, oh, oh. or two. Don't whisk it. Yeah, four half cups or two cups. No, two full cups. I'm doing it. Mommy! I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Mommy, let her do it. What this was her idea, so she's gonna. Well, it's actually both of their ideas, so they're gonna do a lot of the work. So, we're just gonna mix all that, and when we come back, it should be. Or hopefully, look, it, it won't take too inside, long. The inside looks like caramel. Oh, look at that. Ooh, it looks. Absolutely gross. Looks like a whole bowl full of snot. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> All right. A giant snot. I'm Fast forwarding now. Okay. So while we were waiting for Elizabeth to, to play around with the snot, that's what it looks like now. Um, we actually went ahead and preheated the oven, or at least started the oven. Took out the pans. Stupid pans. And. The oven is being preheated to 350 degrees. That 350 is. degrees. And it is hot in there. I am so glad that it doesn't freaking focus in there. Because, boy, does that look gross in there. We need to clean it out. Anyhow, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to, next step, is put in the sprinkles. See? I told you we had a ton of sprinkles. Jesus. And we're probably going to use almost all of them. That's a ton of sprinkles right there. It's That's actually, it's almost a pound of sprinkles. Them. Jesus, it feels heavy. Stuff. Super, super heavy. It looks like there's some chocolate sprinkles in there. Doo -doo. Yeah. All right, so 
We've got the sprinkles going into the container. We need a half a cup of sprinkles. No, 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 no. Just don't tip it more this way. Up like that. And make sure that you're in the center of the bloody thing. Or else you're going to make a giant mess like you kind of already have. Looks like party went off. Okay. Put it My in the goodness. middle of the table. Honey, you're in the way. Alrighty. So, we've got the sprinkles. The, is that nice and level? Let's see if we can get a little bit more. It looks like apple crumble. And we got a ton of different sprinkles in here because uh, basically what we what we did was we went we went to the store and bought some sprinkles and then we didn't have enough sprinkles still because I didn't realize that we were supposed to be doing a whole tablespoon of sprinkles or a whole cup of sprinkles. It's actually a half a cup of sprinkles. Don't don't put in a cup of sprinkles unless you really want to. But oh god, it's looking like hell. <laughs> it's looking like diabetes. <laughs> Fantastic! It looks yummy. Oh wow, that mm. is not. Looks good like it looks like the giant had a big party and he ate a lot of sprinkles and he snuck them out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't snort! <laughs> Don't snort sprinkles, kids. That's not good. It's not good for you. Giant too. <laughs> it's a good explanation. Uh, that's a gross explanation. We would like to try and not make our stomachs queasy before we start eating. Thank you very much. Are we done yet? Yes! Is it all, all mixed together? Are we done yet? Okay, we are done yet. We are done! And this is what it looks like. Mmm, <laughs> kind of looks like mushy bananas. Mm. With, sprinkles. Yeah, with candy bits. It's... <laughs> it's frosted lucky bananas! Lucky no. bananas! <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're going to put it right into this pan and hopefully it'll squish into the pan. So hang on, stop. I got to get to a good spot because you guys are taking over every every good angle that I have. My God. So this is what we're doing. Watch your hair. It looks like it's going into the bowl. <laughs> All right, and don't forget to make sure to scrape out. What? Look it. Make sure to scrape out it everything that's in there, stop. so that it ends up in the pan. And then we're gonna spread that so that it's all nice and flat against the pan. And our oven is still not preheated yet, but that's okay, because it shouldn't take too much longer. Uh, it shouldn't take too much longer. It looks but again, like I said, it's like hot. Lucky it's hot. <sighs> Anyhow. <laughs> It looks like smushed lucky charms. Um, yeah, it kind of looks like baby vomit. <laughs> Anyhow, so. It actually are... looks like you're trying to convince a kid to eat mushed bananas, and instead, <laughs> you added sprinkles to make it appetizing. Okay. And that's what we got so far. <laughs> and then I'm going to slurry it. There we go. And we're just gonna spread that out. You need to squish this stuff into, and then we're probably gonna end up having to actually. Uh, I'll have to cut some of it off. Yeah, this is this is one of the reasons why they tell you to use. Yeah, we actually didn't need to use any of this. Nope. This is just basically to make sure that uh, it, comes up it comes out easier. Oh, and that was our uh, timer. Timer saying that we are ready to go for that. I'll put it in. Five to thirty minutes. Should we put it in thirty times? Thirty minutes. Okay, I don't think we have to push this all the way down so it's nice and flat. It's completely flat because the the way that it cooks is probably going to do most of that, that work for us. There we go. All done. All right, so that is going into the... We're, we're going to cut off all the uh, edging first. You don't need that much on. Okay. So, let's take some scissors.
There we go. Thanks. Done. There we go. Now somebody needs to open it. Yes. There we go. And watch your arms. Okay, you got really close to the side there. That was scary. Anyhow. I don't want that to happen. Okay. Okay. Timer two. Do 30 minutes. We'll do 30 minutes and then we'll just keep uh, keep an eye on it. There we go. Done. 30 minutes, and in 30 minutes we will be back and we'll show you what we what we're doing. Hey. Or actually, we we still have to make the uh, the icing. And stuff. Okay, we'll get set up for the icing and then we'll actually we'll be back. We'll still we'll be waiting for this stuff. All right. So we're back. We've got everything all sorted out as far as we can tell, because <laughs> it may not be. Um, so what we've got here is we got our butter. We've got a whole nother stick of butter. We're going to be using the whole bloody thing. Um, we've got our milk. We're going to be using about uh, two to three cup, uh, two, two, two to three tablespoons of that. We have our garnish. Um, sugar. Yeah, sugar. Why am I having such a hard time with sparkles today? Sprinkles. Sprinkles. sprinkles! Damn it. Sprinkles. And remember how I said that there was a ton of sugar? This is all powdered sugar. Or icing all, sugar. All beaten down. Beaten down, packed properly. It is four, four cups of powdered sugar. Ridiculous. That's more sugar than I put in the friggin' than in the uh, the chocolate chip cookies, nice. for Christ's sakes. Anyhow, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking the butter and mixing that up. So I'm gonna open that up. And Ooh, we're going to be using the egg beater again. The Ooh. egg beater over there. Um, so it's going to get a little loud. I apologize, but we're, uh, we're going to do that. All right. So we've got the butter in there. And, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to bring it over here and mix it all up after I put this in there. Is that what it says? Yeah. Yep. Um, it says beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Shush. Wait. What? Can somebody read something else different? Kitchen timer! No, um, we don't need a kitchen timer! One to two minutes! One to two minutes! Okay, count count Bounce. to 600! Get down! Alright. So this is already starting to look like whipped cream, or uh... Whipped butter. Yep. Well, that's exactly what it is. Whipped butter. And the reason that I'm using... The reason... Can you stop, please? Thank you! We're done with this, with the counting. Because I'm pretty sure I'm done with this. Um, you don't need to count, you don't need to do the whole counting thing. You don't need to put on a timer. As soon as it starts looking like whipped cream, you're pretty much done. So, uh, the reason why I'm using the actual the egg beater is because of the fact that it actually fluffs up the stuff as well as creating, an, creating that nice mixed look. There we go. What else do we need, guys? Slowly add in the powdered sugar once it's all mushed together. All right. Does somebody want to add in the, the powdered me, sugar? Me, 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 me. All right. So slowly. Slowly add in the powdered sugar as it all goes into the bowl all at once. Boom! See? Okay, <laughs> stop putting it on the side. I just moved the bowl so that you could so you weren't gonna be dumping it all over the freaking counter. Just dump. All right, yep. see, like I said, as it goes all into the bowl all at once. Hey, you told him to do that. <laughs> now we have an icing sugar cloud in here. It smells nice. It's a cloud of icing sugar. As sugar was up your nose. Yeah, and... 
<laughs> so now basically what you want to do if you if you accidentally put in too much all at once just like we did just make sure that you stay on the nice the, the low setting and try to start up up high and work your way down moving very slowly because otherwise you end up with giant powdered puffs of sugary goodness going up your nose and then you end up coughing and squeezing and not fun. Let's keep going with the with the stuff. So now that we have the butter and the sugar pretty much all mixed together. Still got a little bit on the bottom that I need to fix. That I, I need to mix together, not fix together. Well, I guess it's the same same general concept. You fix them together with by mixing them together. And what do we need now? Milk. Nope. Two to three things of milk. Probably Can make it just cup? nice and closer. Can I grab the cup? No. Tablespoon. 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 Just put it over the sink. Right next to the sink. Okay. Right. We'll just move this closer to Elizabeth. And I'm just going to let this sit here for now until she's got the tablespoon all sorted out. There's one. Huh? We need at least two. Well, decide on the third one after that is mixed in and see if you need it. I don't need it. It's not getting very fluffy. We may actually need one more. Because these aren't actual tablespoons either, so... Alright, so... We've got basically this whole thing all done. Sort of out, ready to go. Alright. So now we've got. We're gonna do that. Wow, that's buttery. Mm -hmm. Woo. Yeah. Butter. Mm. Still tastes good. Tastes like sugar. Good enough. All right. So this is what we've got as our icing, and what we're going to be doing with that. I, I'm pretty sure that's everything, right? That's everything? That's everything for now. That's all of it. And then the rest of it we will wait until after the stuff in the oven is done and cooled off. We've got another 10 more minutes, so we'll be and back in 10 minutes. Probably about we'll... another 10 minutes to have it fully cooled off. Is that what happened? It says to have it completely cooled off before you do anything else. So we'll be back as soon as uh, everything's all sorted out and ready to go. We're going to leave this off to the side. And... We will uh, come back and show you how to what we what we're going to do with this because we've got a special surprise for this. Um, we're not going to be working with the, the same colors and everything like that that they that they wanted. We want to do it a little bit differently. So I'll teach you how to do something really cool uh, after we get back. All right. All right. So what I've done is okay. We've got the uh, we've got the, the squares already set up ready to go. We had to leave them sitting for about a half an hour so that they actually cooled down and now they're looking perfect. When they first came out of the oven they actually didn't look like they were done at all. So just uh, keep in mind if you're going to do this don't leave them in the oven until they look done because then they're going to be like hard as a rock. They're actually pretty hard right now. Um, but one little trick to making sure that it's actually cooked is if you take a toothpick, all you got to do is just poke it in, pull it out. If there's nothing stuck to the stuck to it, then it is good to go. And that's what I did when I when we first pulled it out, and it, nothing stuck, so we're good. So what I'm doing here is actually mixing up the icing so it actually changes the color that we want. Turquoise. Yeah, it looks blue, it looks greenish. Put a couple more. Of so it said it said to put in it said to put in a couple of dro or two one to two drops and I put in like four so let's put in a couple more let's do more and see what that does yeah. it's going blue but it's not it's not changing it as fast as I would like it to maybe add in one one or two more drops. Now, we might not get an actual full blue color because of the fact that the the, uh, the butter is like a yellowy color, so it's actually going to change the, the blue to more of a greeny color. That looks cool. I like that. But it's starting to look really good. It's actually starting to look like icing, too, which is awesome. So we've got that That's sorted out. 
And this is where our little twist is going to come in to the icing part. The icing pot. Um, I'm going to get Anthony to stir this just to make sure that. Okay, Elizabeth, stir the blue. Okay, Elizabeth, stir the blue. Well, On the other side. Red. Yeah, just keep stirring the blue. I stir the red. Bring that over here. Just keep stirring the blue until it all mixes in. So we don't have any more white and really we don't have any more stuff. big chunks. Can we put it in the red now? So, yeah. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add in a couple of, uh, about two or three drops of red. And then we're going to add yellow. And then we're going to add in a little bit of blue. Make it purple. We're going to do two drops of blue to make that yellow. Or to make that purple. And yellow. I'm going to use a four. because our whisk is actually so dirty. Ooh, that's dirty. <laughs> Nice, nice and clean, nice and clean fork. So we're just gonna mix that up, and it's gonna turn into a nice purple color. Look at that! Holy moly! So are we gonna mix these two together? Eventually. Yeah. And actually, this is a little bit darker than I wanted. That I wanted. So Anthony, can you add in a little bit more red? We'll say two drops. Two drops. Looks good. And there it goes. Yes, we're, we're trying to make like a pinky purple. And then we're going to put the um, red in here. Yes. And then we're going to mix them together and make a swirl. Two, two. We've got the blue in here. And Once we mix them, some of it's going to turn into that purpley color. So we're going to end up with like a pinky, bluey purple, which is awesome. Which is going to look like a unicorn. Yes. Which is exactly what and we want to then... make it look more like a unicorn. <laughs> with the unicorn. All right. Clean off the one side. Beating, then we have... Two unicorn horns. Yeah. And well, then we're going to take this though. and we're going to put it on the other side. This is working just fine. See? We got almost all of it. Almost all of it out. So. We're not putting the sprinkles in, guys. Yes. We're putting them on top. Now that we've got it like this, so it's one side is pink and the other side is blue, we take it swirl and just it. swirl it around. Uh, Don't mix it too much. We don't want to. Like yeah, we don't want to mix it too much. We just want to mix it so that it it basically marbleizes. And there you go. What well, about the purpley color? The purpley color is in there. in there. It's the pinky purple. I told you. Color. As we mix it, and when we spread it, it'll actually meld together a little bit more, and then you end up with a a bit of a purpley color as well, which is awesome. And there you go. Magic. That's all you gotta do. Just make sure that they're on two different sides and then just swirl them together. That's all that you gotta do. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna teach you how to pipe stuff. It's very, very similar to the same if you guys have actually watched the uh, cannelloni video. Um, that's exactly basically what we're gonna do. Because we don't have the actual piping materials to, to do the do the piping properly. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use sandwich bags again. Well, these are these are freezer bags because they've got a little bit better um, control. But you can use basically any kind of sandwich bag or, or uh, storage bag. Old um, milk bags that you've rinsed out. Yeah, if you've rinsed out an old milk bag, it actually works really, really well because the corners are perfectly perfectly uh, set up. Plus, um, yeah, because, um, well, I guess there's some places like the United States that I guess doesn't have uh, milk bags. Bag so no, it's a Canadian thing. Yeah, you don't really, you wouldn't quite understand that one. but. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to grab another spoon, a big spoon. We're using up a lot of training, a lot of materials for this. Um, we're going to do a lot, we're going to pick up a bunch of this stuff and we're going to put it right inside. We're going to put in as much as we can in, in here. So That's good for now. That should be good for now. Got a nice trying not to squish it. Chunk. We're trying not to, to fix or to, to mix that uh, that coloration because we want to keep that coloration. So you try just be gentle with it when you're putting it in. And what we can do is either close it up or leave it open. Either way. Ah, I shouldn't put my fingers. No, you shouldn't. And we'll do the other one too. Press 
Now, uh, the recipe or the recipe that we have says that um, you should be, if you want to pipe it, you should have uh, twice as much icing as um, if you're going to spread it. But I'm going to show you a little little trick to making it look really nice and pretty without using too much icing. Icing. Double. Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're going to take our containers and this one actually is perfect because it's got a little it's got a little air hole opening right in the corner yeah anthony's got one too so yeah perfect so, so, so what you want to do is you want to find that and that's where we're going to cut so you just grab it and cut and there you go and make sure the plastic does not land in your food that's right where did the plastic go? i have no idea oh it's it was on the floor. there I was pretty sure I saw it. Okay, yeah, and well, Daddy's gonna show us how to do yeah. this, and then what we're gonna do is you're gonna hold it just like that, and then just swirl like that. Small little swirls. So we're gonna end up with a lot of small little swirls all over the place, right so beside each other. We're gonna, yep. Yeah. Cut that one out. That messed up. Somehow. That was all right, crazy. again. You just take it one. like this no. and swirl it. Just leave it on there. There. Okay. It's not huge. It's not a big deal if you mess it up or anything like that. This is your this is your creation. Um, the more icing that you put on, the, the more waste you're gonna have, right? Or the more the more icing you're gonna have on the thing, but you're not you're gonna run out really fast. So you want to kind of try and keep it to a minimum, and you're gonna lose all of your stuff because your bag just opened up. <laughs> Make sure you have unicorn heads. And that's what my children have created. It looks, hey, it looks like, like a little monster over here. It looks like Aww. a hellscape of <laughs> candy coating. Um, unicorns. Yeah. Dead unicorns. No. <laughs> no. That's mean. Anyhow. Um, where's the rest of our, our things? Because we need yeah, we need the sprinkles now. Because we're supposed to garnish sprinkles. the sprinkles. All right. Can I? There we go. Do the whole thing. Both of you guys. All right. Done. And there we go. Wait. Still got wax. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little bit. I'm just gonna fill in the little gaps so that everything has a nice even amount of sprinkles. Sprinkle. There we go. And voila! We have our. No, we are not done candy. yet. Candy sugar coated mountain ice cream <laughs> unicorn <laughs> vomit. Since when did we put ice cream in this? I don't know. It kinda looks like ice cream. Um well it's got icing. Icing and ice cream. Not too far off. Anyways. So we gotta cut it up and give it a taste. So we're back. We've got our well, this is one of the reasons why they tell you to make sure that it's really, really uh, it's cold, cold first. before you put in the, the icing because the icing turns into goo and starts mushing everywhere. So, they don't look like unicorns except that one. Yeah, <laughs> they don't unicorns. quite look like unicorns anymore. It still looks <laughs> appetizing, not saying that it doesn't. I'm just saying that they could have been a lot colder. So, which one do we? I want to take. I want to take this one. You want to take that one? Alright, go for uh, it. Uh, I'll take the small one. Alright. And I'll take the one that I mangled. Because uh, this is what happens. See, it's... Yeah. If you want to make it quicker, you can throw it... Yeah. Throw it in the fridge. Leave it in there for like a half an hour to an hour. Yeah. Why does this look like a Actually, if you put it in the fridge, you should only have to wait for about a half an hour before it actually gets nice and hard. Oh man. 
It's so buttery. It's super buttery. Wow. But they did turn out half decent. Like, if you look at the at the side, it looks really, really cool. You got all the different colors and everything like that. Here, look at mine. Yeah. Mine. And a couple of them still work, worked out really well. We probably shouldn't have pulled them out of the out of the pan just yet. No, we'll, but, we'll let it sit for a bit. Mm. Until we get them. Pretty much pure sugar. Mm. Mm. I'd say it tastes more like a a super thick grape. Mm. That's pretty much what it is, actually. But mm. it tastes like a cookie. Basically, the icing I want not bad. Good at. A lot of sugar, like a lot of sugar. Um, so don't give buttery. it a diabetic. Yeah. Tons of sugar. Very sugary. Very um, very buttery. But I'm assuming that's probably because I haven't let it sit for a while. Um, so, yeah. All in all, not bad. Um, if we were a little bit more patient and actually let it cool down for a little while, then it probably would have, the, the icing would have uh, mushed. So... Give it a try for you guys, for yourself. Um, see how it comes out for you guys. If you can uh, see if you can get that nice little swirl thing going on for each one of them, that would be awesome. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So thanks guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you like this kind of stuff, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can you can catch up with everything that we do every week. Um, I'm thinking about starting a couple of new series, so keep an eye out for those. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment down below, letting me know what kind of stuff that you guys want to see, uh, see us cook. Or if you're having if you're having trouble with something that you guys uh, that uh, you want to you want to cook, but uh, you can't seem to figure it out, I might be able to give you a hand. So leave those in the comment down below, and I might put them into another video. But till that video, 